Hello, and thanks for joining us today for this brief infomercial. We're here to tell you about the latest and greatest in assets management technology, the log file. Are you looking for information on who has access to devices or files? Do you want to know when the device was accessed? Do you want to know what actions were taken by a device? Then you've come to the right place. Log files can give you all that information and more. Network administrations or net admins recognize the fact that disaster is hard to predict because it's not always easy to see trouble that is coming. Logging events on a computer system is the way for us to review what has happened on those computer systems. These events can be triggered by human hands or automated processes, but in general, they are a record of everything that has happened on that computer system for as far back as the logs have recorded. A common misconception of data logging is that since it's a view to the past, it equates to archaeology and that's not always the case. What we learn from the data logs, especially logs that are near real time, this is how devices are currently performing of if, if issues begin to show. They can be tracked and addressed before problems get too out of hand. So what do logs look like and what can we do with them? We're going to show you an example of a typical log that you might see when analyzing user practices for a small network of computers. This example was created to resemble the traffic generated by users sending emails back and forth. What you see from looking at the top of the page is that we're tracking sender and recipient IP addresses, the email subject line, and the time and date stamp of when the email was sent. Obviously, the more users you have on a network, the more information is generated over a short time. If you have longer running logs, you might need the help of specialized software to just review the log data. The logs we'll look at today aren't that big and we'll be able to do most of the research through scrolling and looking for patterns. The first log over six days of data capture is just over 1,500 lines long, which in this case doesn't look like much. But if we're interested in a particular pair, we could sort the list to show these combinations. More on that in a moment. First, let's start by searching for some malicious intent that might be discussed in these emails. For example, let's search for the keyword ransom. Granted, analysis of the real world documentation might not be this easy for obvious, but it's nice to start with easy examples. If we search for the ransom though, one conversation pops up. We'll see an outbound IP of 192.21.202.139 and an inbound of 192.24.100.175. That allows us to resort the list by IP addresses and highlight those numbers in each of the two columns so that we can see all of the back and forth traffic that they had. So first we'll start the from column in ascending order and the search for the IP address of 192.21.202.139 and 192.24.100.175. Highlight each of the instances of those addresses in that column. Then sort the to column in the ascending order and search for the same IP address. Highlight each of the instances of those addresses in that column. Then resort the sheet by the time, by date, and search for anywhere there are highlighted cells next to each other and highlight those messages. This will show us the conversations between those two parties. At this point, you can hide other rows or sort other ways to eliminate the other conversations, but the highlighted pairs are where you want to focus. So, what can we learn? Apparently, these two are planning a scheme to take down a hospital. We better notify someone. All right, what about other logs? We can also look at this sample security log for a hotel complex. This one is a bit longer as it contains more than eight months of data, including room assignments, device synchronizations, and security reports. What we notice here is the similarities of time, date stamps for each record, but otherwise somewhat meaningless data. So let's start scrolling. Anything of interest? We can see room service fees, log backups, power load adjustments, room being reserved, in other words, typical hotel stuff. So let's find something interesting. Let's search the log for something that happened as a result of a password attempt. A text search for password returns three hits. Interestingly enough, all three password hits resulted in a failed attempt. What could that mean? Someone, presumably the user named Sweater Vest, forgot their password. If we look closer, we see that these events happen between 6.30 and 6.39 in the morning. Why might that be significant? Let's look at what happens next. By the looks of the log, the third failed password attempt triggered an authentication failure protocol followed by emergency system lockdown. That sounds like a big deal, especially for the residents of an international hotel. Furthermore, by the looks of where the log ends, just three minutes later, this was pretty much a real-time analysis. 
most likely triggered by the lockdown. Most likely, either hotel security or local law enforcement, upon learning of that lockdown, grabbed an immediate snapshot of the log files dating back to the start of the year in the hopes of learning anything they could about the events that led up to the event. So, log files, friend or foe, for the person looking to hide something or a device that is causing trouble for a network, there isn't much that can't be observed from a log file. What does it take to get the information that you need from a log file? Patience. Patience and sometimes a bit of luck so that you can find what might help you solve a network issue or security breach or worse. Network administrators must be aware of not only the capabilities of their log files, but also the data that is being captured and how to make use of that information should it be needed for investigation. We hope you enjoyed our quick tour of log files and that you might find the information to be useful to you as your progress through your training to be effective cybersecurity analyst or wherever your further studies take you. Thanks.